This was me a year ago, highly motivated, chasing my dreams, pursuing my passions, and now, a year later, this is me still on that grind, boy. She fill my mind up with ideas. I'm not as in the room. Hope I make it out of here. She saw my eyes, she know I'm gone. I see some things that you might fear. I'm doing a show, I'll be back soon That ain't what she wanna hear Now I got it in my room Legs wrapped around my beard Got the fastest car at Zoom Hope we make it It is Michael Baker! You say you love me, don't you love me? Had some food in Eustead, recharged, ready to go for the last December yearly re 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 recap. Yeah. Woo. So let's go. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Mary Street, Brisbane City. We've done a couple of sales there, so I'll meet you there and we'll talk about it. <laughs> it's like when you have that coffee hit. <laughs> All right, 70 Mary Street. We've been here definitely a couple of times this year. Um, over the past 18 months, we have sold 14 in this building in particular. So really, really good results. Um, it's quite interesting in the city market at the moment. Um, a quick tip as well, around 2014, 15, when a lot of people bought properties, unfortunately that was the peak of the market for those particular apartments. And we're at this stage now and this year, that's the first time for, since that period of time that we have seen people getting their money back and actually making some profit on those types of apartments, which is fantastic news. Um, one notable sale in here was actually 3707 um, in here, which is a three bedroom. James bought that one through me 18 months ago for 740. We sold it for 775 as well, which gives you an idea of the market for that three bedroom space in the last 18 months or so. So thank you again for the amazing staff at Mantra. Um, you guys know who you are, so thank you again, and let's go to the next property. Neil Street, we have been here plenty of times. Uh, a lot of my really good clients live, have purchased in the street, have sold in the street. So um, let's talk through it. On the left here, we've got number 20. Um, I sold that, oh, that was about a year and a half ago now, so number 20 Neil Street. They're about to knock the house down to my clients, which is gonna be an amazing home. Directly next door again, number 22. They're gonna knock that house down. Neil Street as well, they just bought that this year. So again, shout out to my other clients as well. And that's gonna be pretty epic to see those houses. On the right, we have got number 23, which we sold, uh, what was that, a couple of months ago now, to, um, to Pete and Erin. And then of course, the brother lives directly next door. So Marty and Vaj, number 27. Um, so they're gonna knock that down as well. So it's gonna be pretty, pretty epic homes in the street, the plans look amazing. On the left hand side here, Tim from Black Developments. That's gonna be pretty epic to see when he finishes there. That's actually gone up very, very quickly. Uh, sold that block of land to him in the early ones uh, with Courtney a while ago. So pretty amazing. That is gonna be the biggest and most expensive probably house um, in Neil's World. It's probably not gonna be the most expensive. There's some other big ones in here. The coffee club owner lives in the street, um, which is a pretty amazing house. Really nice homes in the street as well. Like this house on the left here was done by the Greyer Boys, so number 36A. So that was just for a client build. So it's a pretty epic home. Uh, I actually know about probably 70% of the people on the street now, which is actually really cool to know a lot of the neighbors. Um, a lot of people have been here for quite some time actually as well, which is good. Um, I'm not gonna drive all the way down the end of the street because I'll have to do a reverse, a reverse, go in and out. But then through that no through road, we've got 71 Neil Street, which was uh, Joey's house. So Joey and Brooke that I sold from at the start of the year for one nine. Um, Frank and Donna had bought it, are doing some pretty epic renovations to it. So pretty epic home. And how many houses is that now? It's probably one, two, three, four, maybe six. Six houses in the street uh, this year, which has been pretty amazing. But I'm really more excited for the next couple of years because What's gonna happen is where a lot of these people are doing the new builds. It's gonna be pretty amazing, the homes, you know, three, four million dollar homes in the street, which is something Holland Park West or let alone the street hasn't experienced before. 
Um, and the good thing is you got the right people, the right builders, the right developers doing the work. Um, this here, just quickly, number 70 Neal Street. This is a high sale on the street this year, just under three million. The old cricket player's house. Would have hoped to achieve over three for that, but good news, um, Simon and Courtney just sold one recently around the corner at Castle Hill Street, um, which is now the suburb record this year. Um, and also, all together for the record, for Holland Park West, so well done, Simon and Court, uh, achieving three million bucks for Castle Hill Street. So uh, that's Neil Street for you. And let's go down the end of the street, turn right, and let's go check out Clausen Street. Cluck, cluck, Clausen. All right, 36 Clausen Street. We've got there. We've got there in the end. Um, this was have, uh, yeah, good chat, Michael. Th oh yeah, good chat, Michael. Cool, man. <laughs> That's for the bloopers. This has been a great achievement of mine. Um, this is actually my first development I sold off the plan, officially off the plan, from literally the concrete up. So three of the owners have moved in. We've got one more to go in the new year, which is very, very exciting. Again, congrats to the amazing buyers. Very exciting, a lot of them buying the first property as well. And uh, what an amazing project. So thanks again who's been involved. Beck for obviously referring me to this client in particular as well. And I've also sold three, four others for this particular client. So three others in Kate Street as well and got a few more in the new year selling for this particular developer so amazing results and uh, we got there in the end it was a bit of a slow process for about a year and a half but uh, that is the joys of um, doing that so let's go check out the next place number 12 and 14 Melbourne Avenue so number 12 behind us there really really good results so that one for 1.61 um, they wanted one three ish got well over reserve which is fantastic um, that was a fantastic result, rolling off the back of next door, which is dun, 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 number 14. So, number 14, Melbourne Avenue. Um, good scenario, they actually came through Ballard, which is a development that we sold, and a really, really good result. They um, got sold well over the reserve, very competitive bidding, 17 bidders on the day, but that was Chris's first auction. Um, so congrats, Chris, for that one. Your first auction, well done, mate. They all definitely do not go like that normally. But um, really, really well run campaign for number 14 and number 12. Um, both of them, the buyers, the sellers, very happy with both of them. Um, really, really good result. And I think the biggest thing about auctions is it's about planning them and you've got to be strategic and very aggressive with the marketing side of it. But also Peter Bergen, the chief auctioneer, he's a gun auctioneer. He controlled both the auctions very, very well on the day. Also leading up to you know the day as well. Um, of course, little things trying to stand out. Had sausage sizzles. So um, that was something different about the branding. A lot of people remember that about us as having the sausage sizzles, getting the bacon tea merch, so the t-shirts as a settlement gift. So there's a lot of things that we try to do differently that a lot of agents or agencies don't to make us stand out, but also just us. Uh, that's who we are as a person as well. But um, so really, really good results for them too. They were the best two run auctions we've done this year. Um, hopefully doing a lot more of those typical house auctions into the new year as well. So. Um, yeah, great auctions, great campaigns, great people involved. And uh, that's all I've got. Talking about Ballard, just before, we may as well go check that out, so. Let's go. Ballard, 208 Norman Avenue, Norman Park. We have definitely been here a lot of times. Again, thank you so much again to Catapult Property Group for allowing me to sell the property aside with Pete as well, and also Rebecca who referred me into this client. So amazing result, over $25 million sellout um, in total, which is fantastic. We did about 10 of those. So very, very exciting. For a lot of the new clients in here, a lot of the, dem a lot of the demographics have been around first home buyers, people downsizing. It's a really, really good mixture of groups of different people in the building in particular uh, with the average sale price around the mid 600s and of course a penthouse the top floor one 968,000 was the highest sale in the building as well so thank you again for the amazing opportunity um, definitely plenty of memories in here and it's interesting when you get to know every single apartment you know from the back of your hand walking into each apartment the showings being here for about four to five hours on a day sometimes showing different people different floor plans there's a lot of time and effort that went into this from the marketing team all the way up to you know listing the property online to behind the scenes to everything so really really fantastic result and thank you so much for the opportunity currently in thorn street we've had a couple of sales in here notable one here was number one at 89 thorn Gave the keys back to the owners so they can tidy things up for the new year. 
But number one, building record, sold for 1.415. We had six offers on the property, sold in three weeks. Very, very amazing result. Uh, we actually sold one early in the year for 1.36 million, which is a penthouse, so really interesting result. That was an amazing property, so check out a bit of the footage for it as well. That was actually probably one of my favorite properties this year. It's obviously not the most expensive, not the cheapest, or it was just probably the most unique, and that's something I liked about it. While we're in Thorn Street, we've actually almost sold I've almost sold one in every single building along the street, so Valencia used to live in there. Courtney and I sold a couple, I think it's probably three in the building this year. I can't remember, that was that long ago, but we sold the courtyard, one on level seven, one on two on level four, uh, one on level six as well, so we sold a couple in there. Um, again, 80 on Thorn Street, I've sold two in there over the years. I've sold two in here at 75 Thorn, uh, fair through in Monreve and Dundrennan. Dundrennan at the start of the year, we sold one for 2.35 million, I think it was, with Simon. Um, sold two in the Boulevard as well, so one in each tower, small units, uh, Shafts and Mansions. So that's where we've got those small studios, sold a couple in there. Peninsula sold three or four in there. We're about to go there next for evaluation because we've got one under contract now, which is on the market for a week. And we had four offers on it, uh, sorry, five offers on it. And you know, just before the Christmas period, still a pretty decent result, which was great. So let's go in under the shade, park on up so we can get evaluation done. All right, 908, 18 Thorn Street. We literally just filmed this property video because it's only been on the market for a week. Uh, just launched it just before Christmas and had a fantastic turnout. We've had about 20 groups through and this one's under contract now in the high 500s, well over what the owners are after. So very, very exciting result for them. Um, as well, and of course, we had, I think it was five offers in the end. So really, really good results and pretty amazing view. A lot of people are always skeptical of putting the property on the market before Christmas or over that time. This is why actually I don't go away over Christmas period. Um, Christmas Eve last year, I actually sold six properties. So it's an interesting time because one, the biggest thing is people are available. And two, already we've had a lot of calls for people down south coming up, um, which is exciting at the same time. So property market is still moving and typically a lot of agents go away over this period so that's why I'm always very busy over this period of time as well um, fun fact as well the busiest day online each year is Boxing Day the 26th is the busiest time online so all the views on realestate.com actually double so that's another reason why I encourage a lot of people to go to the market before New Year's typically what happens at the end of Jan Feb everyone goes on the market which means you got a lot more competition so really really good result here um, thank you again to our amazing clients and that's it Connor Street, 50 Connor Street. We have been here almost every single month uh, for the recaps this year. Oh, I can't remember, there's too many sales. We've actually hit 10 sales in the building for this year in this particular building, which is fantastic. A good mixture between one and two beds. A um, couple of notable sales. The highest sale price so far we got for a two bed is 595 which is fantastic. So thanks to Josh Sawyer, uh, the buyer's agent as well, for bringing his client through. Um, and that one was on level seven. And of course, um, two one beds, which we sold for 410. So they've never achieved that sale price before as well. Alex is get, about to get hit by another car here again, like the last recap. Um, but anyway, so thank you again to obviously Melody, the on-site manager, a big supporter of our business as well. Um, it's always good having a good relationship with the on-site managers, getting access, talking to tenants, etc. So really, really good results in this building. And um, we're definitely going to be back here soon because we've got a couple in the building launching in the new year. So let's go to the next place. All right, this was the peak of my career here and the peak. See why I keep saying peak because that's a building name. Haha, <laughs> good one, Michael. Still bringing out the dad jokes this year. I've got the dad car now. Anyway, so the penthouse 1201 in Peak Apartments and Vulture Street. Um, this one we sold between myself and Simon Caulfield for 4.2 million to one of our really good clients from Hong Kong. So such an amazing result. I actually just rented it out for the time being as well. And this one here, four bed, four bar, four car, 345 square meters. Amazing, amazing results as well. Very happy clients from both ends as well. But this is the highest sale price in my career and also for this year. Can't wait for next year though. There's gonna be plenty of big, big sales and listings into the new year. But uh, this is actually one of my favorite apartments as well. So beautifully redesigned and re-gutted. Re-gutted, gutted the whole apartment. They've done a fantastic job. So uh, let's go to the last place. And that's our recap done, baby.
All right, back in the hometown of Kangaroo Point, where it all started this year, actually. So again, recapping off, thank you, thank you so much to the amazing clients who have been a part of this year, 2020. I almost forgot the year then, 2021. So where, you know, ask me this time last year, do you think we'll be in a position where we are today? Definitely not. Surprisingly, I was actually almost gonna quit real estate last year. So glad I didn't, so again, Amazing, amazing year, over 94 sales, 68.9 million worth of property sold in 2021 from myself, the Bacon team, and of course, Chris and Elise. Thank you so much. We wouldn't have done it without you guys. And also the support from Simon and the team at Place Kangaroo Point again. Um, and of course, to our amazing clients, we wouldn't have been here today if it wasn't for you. Anyway, thanks again, guys. Thank you for watching again for this year. Looking forward to 2022. Let's go. Goodbye world, see you next year. And then I'm gonna come out of the new year puns. Haven't filmed a video since last year. Haven't gone to the toilet since last year. Haven't brushed my teeth since last year.